Water. Yes, ma'am. Thank God he went up there because would have flooded the whole kitchen. Could have. All right, we got thermostat set on 73 and it's reading 79 degrees. Pressure is running. I'm gonna go get my impact. This has one of those boxes put on by the power company that will not allow it to start up for a short while after the power goes out to prevent a um, large surge in demand right when the power comes on. in it this thing reading <clears throat> point zero two six nanofarads that ain't much sixteen nanofarads <clears throat> and that's supposed to be a seventy and five <clears throat> excuse me I feel like I got something in my throat of all the capacitors I've got and I've got a bunch of them I don't think I have a 70 and 5. That's so, I'm just going to tell her I got to go get one. No big hurry today. go get one and come back well I made an effort to try and buy one of the American made capacitors and um, they did they didn't have any now I'm fixing to swap these around because I might short this to ground and blow a fuse. Um, that comes per suggestion uh, of Shannon Knight. I think he suggested doing that. So that's what I'm fixing to do. Yeah. 
saw sparks there a second ago I thought maybe I had blown the fuse anyway all right now we're gonna I'm just gonna check the power even though I know I've turned it off and I've checked it before I'm gonna check it again Here's my harm wire. see if these match up and I can still use this the same holder <clears throat> it don't really I'm gonna go get a self tapping screw and I'm gonna tap through that the other way like that you just gotta make sure you're not going to drill into some copper you see how these these do not line up anymore because this capacitor is a little bit smaller I'm going to go ahead and tap a hole and then mount this. All right. Okay, now it's not cooperating.
just gonna put another one in on the bottom for good measure. All right, that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> All right, here's coming. Here's fan. Oops. And this is gonna be my my herm. Alright, well I'm gonna put power to it. Like I said, I think this is gonna shut it off for a little while. This one has a status light to let you know that it shut it off. I'm gonna put this on amps. We're gonna measure in rush when it comes on. While I'm waiting, I can go ahead and hook up my probes. Make sure we got enough refrigerant in it. Oh, I got locking caps. Open it up to atmospheric pressure before you turn it on. I'm doing that because, like I said in another video, that's how these little things calibrate themselves. If you read the manual and looking for a way to zero the pressure probes through the app, there is no way. You have to turn it on at atmospheric pressure. System this is four time.
just gotta wait for it to come on. All right. We're pulling 11.7 amps. Compressor is rated at, right here you can see 21.8. The LRA was 99 and I had it on the 100 amp setting and it went over that on um, startup. Six degree super heat and almost 10 degrees sub cooling. I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. No more problems found here. So this one's done. 